Hello, and welcome to another episode of the tutorial series on the Advanced VR Framework 2.0. I am Ansgar, and in this episode I will be covering the radio menu. So, let's get to it! For the radio menu to spawn, you mainly require two steps. First, you have to make sure that you have a button assigned to opening the radio menu. This you do with the info controls. Second, in the info UI, you can specify which buttons you want to have in the menu. Of course, you can also create your own buttons and add them to the list. Once the setup is done, this is what the radio menu could look like. So, I have the radio menu currently assigned to my Phase 2 button on my Oculus controller, and I can use a thumbstick to hover over uh, and select these buttons, and I can press these buttons by using the trigger or by using the thumbstick itself. I could also use my other hand to select these buttons, and I can open them by, by tabbing them. Currently this button spawns uh, uh, a pallet, and uh, basically I use most of the buttons to spawn pallets. But you can also uh, create any functionality you want on the buttons. So, that is the radio menu, and let's go in the editor to set up the radio menu for your project. To set up the radio menu, you first have to make sure that the info files are properly set up. If you're unsure on how to do this, please visit the episode on level management. But of course we are going to check up on them right now, just to make sure that everything is properly set up. So our first look is going to be inside our level file. So for that, let's open up the level file. Currently I'm in the demo map UI, and this is using the info level demo UI. So let's open that up. Um, so if we scroll down, we can see that we have our info controls file, which is our BP info controls demo UI, our info file, uh, info UI file, which is our info UI demo UI, and uh, the info data file is not specified. Remember, if a file here is not specified, then it falls back to the default file, which is specified in the game in the game mode that you're currently using. So in this case, our current game mode that we're using is in the project settings. And under maps and modes, and here you can see the game mode demo here. And if I open that up, I can see that the default files for these are the info data demo UI, and in our case, importantly, it's the info controls and the info UI, just to make sure that these are in place. But since they are uh, overwritten in, for this current level, we are using these ones. So let's open them up. Opening up the demo UI, if we scroll down, we see the function mappings. And for the Oculus controller, we see that on the right side, we uh, don't have any button, uh, any radio menu button specified. But for the left controller on the phase two button, I have the radio menu button one. We can switch between the radio man menu button one and two, so you can have, uh, so you can create two radio menus, uh, two different sets of radio menus if you want. Um, the same thing for the Steam controller. So if you want this to work on the Steam controller, for example, you have the radio menu button one defined for the shoulder button, which is above the thumbpad. And this is all you need to do for the info controls. And for the other file, the, the info UI file, if we open that up and take a look inside, and there we have to specify a set of radio menu buttons. So remember in the controls, we were assigning the radio menu button one. We can just uh, have a set of two different radio menu buttons if you, uh, if you want, but currently we are using the first one. So if I add some elements, I can 3D add some buttons to my liking. So these are all the buttons that are already in place, but of course you can simply create your own buttons by using the same uh, the radio menu button class. And in each button is also specified what kind of function is being executed when uh, pressing them. So it's really easy just to add your own functionality to your buttons. So now that I have these buttons in set, this should be all to get started and to open the radio menu. So let's try that out and see how it works um, inside VR. So. 
Now here inside VR, we can open the radio menu by pressing the, uh, pressing the face button too that we specified in our info controls. And we can see that we have the buttons that we specified in the radio menu in the info UI. And I can use a thumbstick to uh, select buttons and I can press a trigger to open them. And then I can spawn myself a set of beautiful menus. So oh, this is all that is required for a proper radio menu to work. I hope you can use and integrate the radio menu into your project. And I will see you in the next episode.